In this module, I'm going to show you how to work with Table of Authorities. I'll cover marking citations, editing citations, changing citation categories, and creating the Table of Authorities itself. In the resources for this module, I've included the step-by-step -step instructions for each of the items discussed. I've also included the practice document. Let's start with what defines a Table of Authorities. A Table of Authorities is part of a legal brief that contains a list of the cases, statutes, and secondary sources cited in the brief. The Table of Authorities has the page number or numbers on which each authority appears. To create a Table of Authorities, you mark the citations and Word inserts a special TA field or Table of Authorities entry field in your document. You can then search the document for the next long or short citation to mark or you can automatically mark each subsequent occurrence of the citation. If you don't wish to use the existing categories of citations, such as cases or statutes, you can add or change the categories of citations. All of this I'm going to go over with you now. So let's start by opening our practice document, and let's turn on our paragraph markers. Paragraph markers are found under the Home tab in the Paragraph group. Paragraph markers are very important when you're working with your citations because you want to be able to see the Table of Authorities entries so you can make sure everything's correct within it. Additionally, before you actually create the Table of Authorities, you want to turn off the paragraph markers so that everything on your pages line up correctly. Because with the paragraph markers turned on, all of the text within the hidden field is going to spread your document out more. So you want to shrink it back up to what it should look like when it's printed out. Okay, now let's scroll down through our document and find our first citation. Here's our first citation, so I'm going to go ahead and mark it. Now you want to mark only the citation entry, so I'm going to do the shift arrow key to get that last paren. And I'm going to come up to the References tab, go to the Table of Authorities group, and click Mark Citation. When I do that, it's going to open the Mark Citations dialog box. From here I see my selected text, now I can choose my category of what it is. This is a case, so I'm going to click Case. Now I can choose my short citation. So I'm going to take out all of this information at the end because I, I don't want included in my short citation. And I'm going to click Mark. Now I'm going to tell it to go to my next citation. It finds it for me. I'm going to mark that entry as well. It's a case, and I'm going to take out everything after Johnson. Now if we look up here, the citations that we've been marking, it's been adding the Table of Authorities entry field for us. It'll list the long citation, the short citation, and what category it is. That's the first category in our listing, so it's C1. Let's go to our next citation. Let's highlight the whole thing. Click our citation box. It's a case as well. We'll take all of that out and tell it to mark the citation. Now you'll notice it only marks it with a short citation. That's because this citation has already been marked once with a long one on the first page of our document. So here it's just marking it for the second time. Okay, let's go to our next one. Now this is a different type of citation. This is actually a statute. So I'm going to come down and I'm going to highlight it. Now when I come in here, I can choose statute, but when I'm creating my table of authorities for this document, I don't want to call it statute. I want to call it other. So I'm going to come through my list. I don't see anything for other on here, so I'm going to come over and click on category so I can create an other category. So I'll come down here and I'll choose number 8, and I'm going to replace that with other. And click replace, and OK. So now I'm going to come down, choose Other, mark my citation. Now when I come up and look at this, I've got my long entry, my short entry, which is the same thing because I'm not shortening it, and I've got Category 8, which is Other. Go to my Next, highlight it, Other, Mark, and do my last one. and close. Now that we've got all of our citations marked, we're ready to create our Table of Authorities. So let's go up to where we're going to insert our Table of Authorities, 
And remember, first thing we need to do is turn off our paragraph markers. So make sure we're on the Home tab and click Paragraph Marker. Then we'll come over to the References tab, go to the Table of Authorities group, and click on Insert Table of Authorities. When we do that, it will bring up the Table of Authorities dialog box. From here, we choose the categories we want to include and how we want it to look. And it also gives us a nice print preview so we can see how it's going to appear. We're going to keep the original formatting of the text. I'm going to change it to the dashes. And I'm going to go with a distinctive look. Under Category, we choose exactly what type of citations we want to include. Now ours included statutes and other, and since we want to include both of them, we'll choose the category All, so it includes all citations. And we'll say OK. And here is our Table of Authorities. The last thing I want to show you is how to edit your Table of Authority entry. Let's say, for instance, I wanted to change the formatting for my citations under Other so they're all italicized. Instead of coming in and doing it here, I'm going to go into the Table of Authority field entry and do it there. Because if I were to do it manually here, every time I update my Table of Authorities for new entries, it's going to remove that formatting. So first, before we insert our italics, let's go ahead and turn our paragraph markers on. So we'll go to Home, Paragraph Group, Paragraph Marker, and then let's scroll down to our Others. And they're on the last page of our document. Here we go. And because we've got our paragraph marker turned on, we can see the field codes. And where we want to do it is to the long citation. So we're going to highlight that and italicize it. And do that for each one of the entries. And make sure you do it for the long one, because that's what it's actually inserting into the table of authorities. Great, we've got them all set up. It's under the long one. Turn off our paragraph markers, scroll back up to our Table of Authorities, and then we'll go to the Other, do a right click, Update Field, and it's italicized them all. So anytime you want to do any editing, go into the field entry itself to do the editing. And if we go back down to where those entries are in our document, you'll notice it did not change them. Because we did the editing within the field, it does not affect the actual text within the document. If we turn our paragraph markers back on, we can see that it is italicized within here. So as a review of this module, we discussed marking citations, editing categories, creating a table of authorities, and editing our citation entries. I'll see you in the next module.